Okay. Just finished up Demon Souls yesterday, and so it's time to start the new Soulsborn game. So we picked Dark Souls 3. I was between Dark Souls 3 and Sekido, but I kind of wanted to keep going in the same kind of vein as what I have been doing so far. So we're going to play Dark Souls Sweet, so let's get started. Ooh. Gotta love brightness settings. Sure, looks fine. Oh man. Oh, that's fine. Who cares? Not me. Yes, indeed. Ooh, cutscene. Yep. Well, 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 look at what you chose. Yeah, I chose Dark Souls 3. I decided to stay in the same vein as I've been doing so far. Felt like going with familiar then instead of learning new stuff. Can I skip this? Cool. I know what Dark Souls is about. It's all about the, uh, you know, the embers and stuff. Sure, I can figure it out from there. <laughs> Burial gift. Max HP, cool. Fully rest now. Um, no. Nope. No. No. Hmm. None of these are great. Well, I'm sure they're all good for something. Um, item discovery would be pretty good, I guess. Just take that one. After doing the, uh, after playing Demon Souls where everything is so nice looking, it's funny to be back to Dark Souls. Today's your birthday, so you say they can't stay, but I want to drop by and at least say hi and wish you luck of luck. Oh, thank you very much. Happy birthday, man. Yeah, don't worry about staying. Go enjoy your birthday. Hope it's a good one. There's face details, hair. Weird. What do I want? Good old ponytail. <laughs> Get like a faux hawk going on. Let's go with that. Sure. Beard. Do that. Eyelash color. Ooh. Very important stuff we're working on here. Tattoos. Nah. Never bring myself to care about this stuff much. <coughs> sure, young voice. Mature voice. I don't care. Nope. Look at me. Specimen. The mercenary. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. I 
really watched any playthroughs of this game or anything really. I think I've seen like the very beginning, but that's about it. I'm sure it'll be great and be great fun. Like I've definitely seen this tutorial area before. And like a little bit of the rest of the game, but that's about it. Am I an undead? Like in Dark Souls 1? Looks like I'm coming out of a grave. I mean, I literally had a burial gift, so... Ooh. Hmm. Oh, hi. How are you? Did I fast roll? Is that a fast roll? You gonna come kill me? No. Cool. What is my weight ratio? I take off my trousers. Is that any faster? See, I'm used to... Because in Demon's Souls it was 50% gave you a fast roll. But is it... And this is it 25? We'll check real quick. Like... I mean, it looks just about as fast as having all this stuff on. So, I guess we'll just put everything on. Because that's under 50. And that does seem a little slower, but... Hmm. Ooh. What was that? did like a flip. Oh, okay. So I have to use all four things if I want to use these swords effectively, it looks like. That's interesting. Kind of like that. That's cool. I'm a fan. Okay, lock on. Ooh. Oh, he died instantly. What a sword. I mean, that looks like the way I should go, so... We can, we can come on down here. Definitely won't get attacked by anything weird, I'm sure. Soul of a deserted corpse. How sad. I mean, luckily, I went Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Dark Souls 3, so I think all the keys are the same and everything. So I don't have to worry about uh, learning new stuff. Oh, man. I do ash and Estus flask. What the heck is that? Oh, it's my, is that like my MP? That would make sense because it's blue. Wow. Everything's just melting. So that's good. I see an item up there. How do I get there? How do I get to the treats? I just want my treats. That's what this area is supposed to be, right? Give me my treats. Oh man, I'm liking these swords already. I mean, I can't block or anything, but who cares? I haven't really done a dex build yet in any of these games. I've always been like a two-handed strength boy. So it could be fun to, uh, oh, hi. Oh, crossbow people. Come on. Don't be that guy. No one likes you. I haven't done like a dex fast type build yet. That could be fun. Ooh. Is heal... Nope. Let's heal this one. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same. That's good. Don't have to learn new things. Hmm. Because I'm pretty sure that other way is, like, the way forward. <coughs> but if there's hidden treats over here... Hmm. That's a big old boy, huh? What the heck are you? Ooh. You're tough, huh? Hmm. Do I get something good if I beat you? Oh, not crystals. Not crystals. You're like Seath's cousin? He liked crystals, too. Oh, no. Not the roll. 
Oh, you can kind of move. Could you do that in Dark Souls? I'm pretty sure you were, like, basically frozen when you, uh... Um, oh, jeez. I'm gonna die. There's no way I survived this. Ooh. I'm pretty sure in Dark Souls you were basically just frozen when you used your Estus, but it seems like you can kind of move in this a little bit. Oh, jeez. Yep, no way. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Nope, oh, there it is. So, do I get something good if I kill him, or is there an item around here that's good? Is it worth going back to kill him? I mean, I guess I might as well give it at least one more try. The Cemetery of Ash. Oh, that little musical sting when you discover a new area in Dark Souls. It's always good. Oh, jeez. Everybody went that way. Yeah. I am enjoying these swords. Nice. Only three Estus. Oh man, so at the beginning of the game it always sucks because you have like no healing whatsoever. Okay. I guess this boss might be easier if I block too. Ooh, is that my souls? Oh, very visible. Hello. Nope. Oh. Excuse me, good sir. I don't want to be eaten by a crystal lizard thing. Ooh. Did not react to that fast enough. I have to get used to Dark Souls again. Demon Souls was too easy on me. It's not as wasn't a super difficult game. Like I think this mini boss has better like move set and difficulty than pretty much any of the De Demon Souls bosses. Which is kind of sad, but the game was definitely still fun though. Still had a good time playing it. Very beautiful, too. I mean, the, the uh, remake is so good. I feel like I definitely probably wouldn't have had as much fun playing the uh, original. I'm sure it was pretty rough. Oh, got him. A Titanite scale. Okie doke. I'm guessing that's part of the upgrade system. Going back to Titanite. Hopefully it doesn't have just like 17 million different upgrade materials like Demon Souls. But we'll see, I guess. It is a, a Dark Souls game though, so it probably will have... At least a few. I wonder, it probably just has like the same sort of stuff as the original game. I don't know why they change it. Uh, what a, what a beautiful vista. Oh, a castle. I wonder what that is. Ooh, a bonfire. Cool. Enkindle. Can I level up at this bonfire? I can't. That's annoying. So I can't use any of the souls I'm gathering or anything. I basically have to make it through this first area, I guess, to be able to level. Seems like the 
what they're telling me. No, oh, that guy didn't die. Oh, then he died. Maybe I hit him on my backswing. Hello. Anything down here that I want? Oh, I thought I heard someone. Excuse me. I'm still busy at the moment. Oh no. Oh. Yep. You gotta get used to this game's feel. Is that item worth killing all those guys for? Probably not. Never seems to be. Plus I gotta get used to not having... Because usually, if I went up against shield boys, I would use a, uh, a shield just to block that first attack, but I don't have... I have no shield. I just have all the sword. And I'm on a very thin ledge with him, with an archer behind him. Which is always cheating. I'm trying to remember how far away the first boss is. Because I feel like once I search this area, I'll just have to run past all these guys, because fighting them every time sounds like a big old ball egg. Come on, Spear Boy. I've decided I don't want to fight you with your little friend. No, both of you are coming. Brilliant. I love that for me. Yeah, come here. Hang on. There's that. And then you're easy. Wow. Cool. What is it? Firebomb. Useless. I don't really use firebombs or anything. Like any throwables. I really saw the point in them. I felt like I could always just do more damage by just attacking. I guess they're probably a good way to, like, cheese some bosses. Like, I think in speedruns of DS1, you, uh, Dang it. You use firebombs against the Asylum Demon or whatever, like the first guy you fight. Um, and you can just kill him if you, like, use the starter item of- oh. Of the firebombs. Oh, cool. So we're here. First boss. Come on. All the dodging what I gotta focus on. Anything cool? That was one thing that threw me off in uh, Demon Souls, is that there was a bunch of... No, oh, these look like the tombs from the Tomb of the Giants. Um, there was items around the battlefield in, uh, in the boss arenas. Which I wasn't used to. Okay, let's do this. Don't have full Estus, but I think we'll manage. Hello. How are you? Yep. Hello. Swing your big old... Big old axe. Ooh. Little shoulder charge. I see you. Let me just get behind you here. Um. Thought for sure I was going to walk by him there. Uh, now we gotta deal with this guy. So another thing I was missing in uh, Demon Souls is like second phases to bosses. I feel like it helps make it a little more fun and like difficult. Those bosses just were the one phase. Pretty simple. Oh, get too greedy. This guy's not oh, super difficult, but I guess he's the tutorial boss, so 
kind of to be expected. Well, I don't want to die. So let's do this. Just to be extra safe. There we go. Good job, Ludic Gundry. Gundry? Ludic Gundry. Coiled sword. It is kind of cool. Ooh, ember restored. It is kind of cool that they give you that sword. Do I feel like playing through Dark Souls 1? I was always like, oh, it'd be cool to be able to use that sword. Come on, embery. Let's go. Cutscene time. Oh, I thought this would be Fire Link. Can I upgrade at that bonfire? Or is it not till I get to Fire Link? Got some souls burning a hole in my pocket. Dang it! Is that Fire Link up there? Maybe. Is this supposed to be like the same Fire Link as DS1? Just like new and improved? Or is it different? I see you. I see you hiding over here. Oh, don't kill me, please. Oh, that guy's item dropped off. Come on. Excuse me. Sneaky Dark Souls item. Homeward Bone. Wow, that bone looks really gross. In DS1, there are just nice, pristine white bones that looks like it has like, blood all over and stuff. Like you literally just ripped it out of someone's arm. Hey, boys. No, no. Don't do this. Spear, boy. Nice. Oh man, these remind me of... It seems like they always have like a version of these types of uh, weapons. Because I'm thinking in Bloodborne it was the Blades of Mercy. It was like your dual wielding fast swords. And then in Dark Souls 1 it was like the silver and like gold tracer I think they were. So they always seem to have these kind of like fast type dex weapons. Here we are. I mean, this looks much better than... Or much more epic than the original... Um... Fire Link. There's an item up there. Go talk to this lady. Welcome to the bonfire and Hello. It's very rude. I tend to the flame. And tend to thee. Hmm. And must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. There's a guy up there. Why is he just chilling there? Level up. Let's go. Take nourishment. Ah, oh, the big, big chart of numbers. Vigor. Um. Oop. Two men don't care about that. Vitality. That's uh, that's interesting, huh? Why did they make? Cause that looks like it um goes with equip load. No, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that you have to have a separate thing from like endurance to increase your equip load. Let me see, like, highlights what it's upgrading. Um, well, more health's always good. Uh, is that all I can do? I oh, know, I still have way more. Okay. Okay. 
sure more vigor and endurance is never bad. Now I'm done. Thank you. Oh, look at man. Oh, who the heck are you? Handmaid of the shrine. Cool. So I'm undead? I don't look undead. <laughs> Bring them to me. You said you sold stuff. Oh, jeez. UI looks all different. It's not all the same stuff, though. I don't need no weapons. Ember. Hmm. Well, hello. I, as a humble, you're in search of the Lords of Sim a toilsome journey. I let me smith. I am a smith. Cool. Do I have unlimited storage? Because that was one thing that was annoying about um, Demon Souls is that you had to like... I guess it was also kind of nice. It kept your inventory really nice and tidy. And it wasn't that difficult to store items when... Because you'd always go back to the Nexus. Who were you? Another one roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled our work as we conniptions, and it have us seek the law. But we are talking truth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't you think? Ooh, collapse. <laughs> there was this guy in uh. Why is there always like a really sad knight who's given up near like the the main place? Oh, cool. I was like, why isn't there a bonfire here? There's one now. I made it. Rest here. Ooh. Organized storage box. See? We have a storage box. Um, Night Night Scale. Soul Transpose Weapons. Cool. Put that away. Keep the wooden shield just in case. Because you never know. Life ring. Am I even wearing that? Tool belt. You can wear four rings. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. This is my HFP. Whatever that is. My MP. Sure. So that's kind of cool. So unlike... Uh, so can I only level up with her, or can I level up at any bonfire? Because honestly, I wonder if it's more like Demon Souls than Dark Souls 1. Travel. Okay. I do like traveling. High Wall of Lothric. Um, so I guess I can only level up with her. Because I was going to say, if it's more like Dark Souls 1 where you can't travel instantly, that'll be annoying to get back here to level up. But if you can travel from any bonfire, that's... Pretty nice. So I'm guessing I just go to the High Wall of Lothric. That seems like the next area. Unless there's anything else fun in this. It is kind of funny how they, uh, they've gone from, like, Demon Souls had, like, the Nexus with arch stones that were very similar to the Gravestones in Bloodborne. And then Dark Souls 1 was very different, where each bonfire was like a separate thing. And until you killed like Guinevere or whatever, you couldn't even teleport between them. But now, with Dark Souls 3, I guess I didn't play Dark Souls 2, but Dark Souls 3 is a lot more like Demon Souls. Well, I guess I'm guessing that off of. Because you have like your Nexus type place. Um, with your level up lady, who stays here. And you can travel back here. From, like, wherever you're going. From, like, any bonfire, I'm assuming. Because that seems like the way it, it's looking so far. Doesn't seem like anything worth here. 
Might as well move on. Now I guess I have... I do have some pocket souls. Will that give me another level? Um, I do miss the, uh, the demon souls being able to just use a bunch of souls without leaving your menu a bunch of times. Here we go. Lothric. Thank you. Touch the darkness within me. See, that's the other thing. Very similar line to the, uh, to the Demon Souls Lady. Touch the demon inside me. Thank you. Didn't even check if I could get another level. Oh. Perfectly zero? What is that? It's almost like I planned it. Tune spells, okay. Burn undead bone shard. Don't know what that does. Let's travel. I will of Lothric. I think the first boss we face is Bort of the Boreal Valley. And he's at the high wall of Lothric.